Welcome! In this video, I guide you through the main project data window, component states, and how to swap components seamlessly. Let's dive right in! Feel free to create a project with these specifications. You can pause the video for this. First, head over to the main project data under the project tab, which provides you with an initial simple overview of your elevator project. In addition to the general project data, which is used for the content of the title blocks, for example, you will find the overarching component structure with the most important main components of your 3D elevator model. You have the flexibility to adjust values such as the speed and car dimension. Beyond these values, you can modify properties and toggle components on or off. There are more components associated with your elevator project than are displayed by default. These can be activated from the library, like load hooks for example. One way to do this is via the main project data under the machine room. Find the load hook, activate it by setting the component state to active and select a load hook type from the available options in the window that pops up. Another way to get to the selection window is to click on the three dots in one of the three fields. Select it, click OK and it will be displayed in your project. Another method is using the data tree or breadcrumb docking window. To activate the load hook, navigate to the entries and click the grey arrow to reveal child objects. If the load hook isn't greyed out, it's already active, but you might only see the insertion point and not the geometry. In the properties under general, make sure to select the component so it's visible in your project. Let's delve deeper into the component state. Activating or deactivating components directly affects the whole elevator model, specifically the shaft size in this example. The associated logic for components will no longer be considered in the project. For example, if you set the car door to inactive, the gap is closed automatically. Inactive components are greyed out and have a key symbol. For an option to remove components only view frame related, please refer to the A3.2 tutorial. Now, let's review how to exchange components. For instance, you can swap out rail brackets by either double clicking or using the properties window. Select a rail bracket for concrete fixing and confirm with OK. Thanks for watching!